Hey, thanks for joining the channel, Everything Money. It's Seth here. I'm here with Paul and Mo, as always. Uh, thanks for joining us. Today, we're looking at Life Vantage Corp. We love, well, listen, we, we, we argued about this company, Smitch, not argue. We discussed this company. 14 seconds. This is a small <laughs> company, a market cap of $100 million. A lot of times you out there, if you've been watching our videos, you say, God, does Paul believe in anything? Does he buy any stocks? We, we think this one might have a chance. Paul, the, the, the stock price itself, which we typically look at last, is, is, is has halved. Seth, this is the five-year chart. Look at this thing, $10 up to 15 or 16, down to what is that, two or three, back up to 15, 16, down to eight. I mean, this thing has been all over the board just in the last five years. Yeah, so Life Vantage specializes in nutrigenics. Uh, this is a biohacking the human aging, anti-aging, Mo. Anti-aging. Um, that's gonna be a huge industry. Big market. So if I were you, I'd buy every company in it. I agree. Just kidding. <laughs> It goes off our last video where we talked about pump the brakes here. Yeah. yeah, that was a joke. So in this video, we're going to use in this video, we're going to use our eight pillar analysis to look at Life Vantage, see the fundamentals behind their cash flow, their shares outstanding, how much money they make, why their stock maybe is in the tank. And, and Paul will let us know if this is a buy, a void, uh, yada, yada. And we'll look at with Trader Mo and see if anyone's trading Life Vantage. Paul, shall we start? I think Quinn was on me when I was dancing there. Did you switch the camera to me, Quinn? We okay. Have all right, guys. So What's it's a hundred and ten million dollar company. One ten million. Kind Revenue of, of two hundred thirty million. Net income last year of eleven point seven five. So that's a PE of nine point four. Chickety check. Profit margin is five percent. That's an X. But look at this gross margin, Seth. Look at this. Eighty three point four percent. That's incredible. So um, no dividend yield. High return on invested capital. And high return on assets. Over ten percent each. That is awesome. So. One check, one X so far, not a big deal. Pillar number three is revenue growth for Life Vantage. Revenue growth, not that great. 167 to 176. It's a check mark, but not very big growth. It's actually about, been a little up and down here. I mean, they have the same revenue in 2013 that they have today, basically. How about profit growth? How about the profit growth? So the profit growth, guys, is 4.9 million to 11.75. So depth that check good. mark yeah. there. Jeez, Louise. What was that? That seems really good. Oh yeah, it's really good. Now the revenue isn't that high, but the profit has really skyrocketed. They made the same amount of money this year as last year. So one of the things guys that you want to look at is, okay, revenue's flat, profit's up a lot. Why is that? We want to make sure we understand that completely, okay? Pillar number five is shares outstanding. We want this number going down, Paul, you know that, damn it. Uh, it's actually going up, not by much, but it is up 13.84 to 14.19. What is that, three or 4% roughly? So nothing major, but it's still up, but it's not a huge number. It's not like it scares me. Current assets over current liabilities is pillar number six. 42 million in current assets. Uh, 22 million in current liabilities, but even more important guys, total liabilities of 39 million. They have plenty of cash on hand to pay off all of their debt. This is like you at home having a personal checking account and being able to use that to pay off your car, your house, your credit cards, your student loans, everything you have completely with just the cash in your personal checking account. So we have two X's. We've all checked two X's on profit margin, which we want over 10, but that's gonna be changing here soon, right? That's gonna be changing. We're gonna, we're gonna focus more on our return on invested capital. And, and current, uh, I'm sorry, shares outstanding, they're selling off a bit. So yep. free cash flow. Why is this so important, Paul? So free cash flow, guys. This is cash from operations, less your capital expenditures. This is the cat, it's easy to manipulate, and there's so many rules to manipulate earnings, but cash flow is a lot harder to manipulate. Can it still be manipulated? Absolutely. Everything in the financial world can, but it's much harder to, to manipulate cash in and cash out. So the cash from operations less capital expenditures can be used to pay out dividends, buy back shares, pay down debt, make acquisition, things like that that make your, your investment better, okay? It's the actual money coming into the company at the end of the day, and that's what you wanna focus on. The last five years went from 2.16 million to 14.82 million. Big check there. Now here's the deal, guys. The last five year average, and this is a line that we added for our Everything Money software, which by the way, if you love the software, wait to the end of the video, you'll figure out how to get the software for you at only 70 or 80 cents a day, pretty cheap. The average is 10 million, the market cap of 110 divided by 10. This is selling for 11 times free cash flow over the last five years. But last year it was 14.82, so call it 15. 110 divided by 15 equals 6, 7.3. It's selling for only seven times free cash flow of the last year. I mean, this is a very, very low free cash flow number. So out there, you're probably wondering, well, do I buy this stock? Not necessarily. It's a small company. But once you go out there and do your research, what are they trying to do? Because remember, the revenue growth wasn't a lot. They were very stagnant over the last seven or eight years. How are they gonna change that? Now, the good news for you is 
if revenue and profit stay the same forever and you buy it for this price, you'll probably do pretty well because you're paying seven times last year's free cash flow. If they had $15 million a year in free cash flow the rest of the time, you're gonna do very, very well buying this company today, right? As long as they're not increasing their shares too much and they have reasonable debt levels, they're able to pay off all their debt with the stroke of a check. So I like this company very much right now as in going a, a lot deeper. This is one of those, the number of shares outstanding isn't bothering me a ton. Mm -hmm. I wanna understand what the philosophy behind it was. It was only three or 400,000 shares, but, so let's go look at it actually. So on our website here, eight pillars. Oh yeah, it's 3.3% more shares. So that was our X and profit margin was our X. But the return on invested capital was high. Actually, I mean, we should do some research on this company, um, Mo. Okay. Because this might be one of those ones that we can, I mean, if, if I believe that the revenue and profit is gonna keep staying the same and growing steadily, this is a company I wanna own. Absolutely, without a doubt. No, no, no price target needed. You're, you're liking it right now. As long as I believe the future is the same as what it is today. Mm -hmm. If I don't think they're going backwards, why would I not pay seven times uh, free cash flow for a company that does a good job of reinvesting its own capital? What other information would you look into? Part of this research that this our patrons the, are doing. Now, this is the qualitative part. Do some research on the company. Read their 10K. Go Google them. Are people, do speak, people speak favorably about their business? Don't speak favorably. Go listen to a couple of their earnings call on seekingalpha.com. You can join for free. Go listen to some earnings call. Go see, read some reports about them. Guys, doing a half hour of research on this company, an hour of research, will get you tons more information that you could probably make a pretty reasonable decision if you made them on 20 or 30 or 40 companies at a time. I want to thank one of our patrons, Mendy Y, for suggesting this. Mendy, I see you. We appreciate this. And I'm sure once you guys see this video in that Patreon group, uh, the Discord channel, you guys will be talking about this. So that's where you can also do some more of your research. Mo, are people... Uh, maybe considering trading this, I would imagine the volume is so low on this puppy. Talk to me about it. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 low, but the interesting thing that I see through, so this is about a year and a half chart, and this was the low, and that was, that was back in March of last year. So we kind of hit that support level. That's good news to me. What I want to look at now is how can we go at this um, now? I mean, looking at it, yeah, they're in a downtrend. They're here in this oversold area. They've had a very rough, uh, call it three months. If they can get, just get some volume coming in and get this thing moving. I mean, I don't know. Why, why did people bring this up? Do you happen to know the reason? Someone Was it like, like trending or something? No, I, I think someone just liked the, the fact, let's see, I can tell you what Mandy said. She said it just tanked with, with earnings okay. and it was hit hard by the pandemic. Okay. I think it has potential to rebound soon, and it's a magic formula stock. Okay. All right. Well, it makes sense. I mean, these these are those. This, this is what we look for. I mean, I'm sure she was looking at this for more from a value side because there is that potential, like we were seeing on from the eight pillars and whatnot. So, as this thing starts moving, keep it on your watch list. All we need to do is get this thing to turn up a little bit and get going. I mean, this does seem like a company that would get hurt during the pandemic. People don't have a lot of money. Maybe they're not spending as much on anti-aging stuff because they could they got to tailor back a little bit. So maybe this is something that we can keep a watch and, on. And look at what the company was saying about their future earnings. Like for, for companies to announce earnings in fall, if a company's more upbeat though about the future, like, hey, we're past the, if you watch our videos, we always look at, well, last year was a pandemic year. We look at that and kind of pull it out a little bit saying, do we really do we worry want to about this? Even on the about upside, like Kroger. Yeah. Kroger had a huge year last year because of the pandemic. Yeah. I don't, I don't factor that in there as like saying, oh, well, this is what's going to be like go forever. forever. It's like, okay, well, they had a great year. Same thing on the downside. If they had a bad year because of the pandemic, I'm not going to punish them forever because of that. Now, guys, you saw that website. You see our website. It does everything for you. It tells you all the eight pillars. It has all the financial statements. Here's why we created it. We created this because all of our patrons kept asking us for our, for our access to our website. I was on Y charts. It's $200 a month. Trading economics, $200 a month. Yahoo Finance, $35 a month. This used to be eight. When I made this, it was 14. Now it's 23 a month. And look at all the things you get. Our focus for our channel will be the software. It provides everything for 70 or 80 cents a day. You're crazy not to buy it. You get like-minded investors in, invest in our amazing Discord community. Sign up. You're crazy not to. I love it. It's a primary focus of our channel going forward. That's what take on Life Vantage, an interesting company, a small company. But boy, Paul, there are some interesting numbers. In, yep. uh, you want to talk about not following the hype. I, I knew if we did and this. And by the way. Go ahead. Go ahead. Smaller companies will have more opportunity because everybody overlooks them. How many, how many analysts are even following this company? That's where you're gonna find better opportunity in companies on smaller companies because nobody pays attention to them. 
We're all worried about Amazon, Tesla, all these big companies. Nobody worries about the $100 million company. And this is what you get from our Discord. Like-minded people that are looking for stuff like this, not chasing the stuff that you see all over television. Well, they do the chase the other stuff too. Well, of but, course, but, but you're going to find these yes. kind of things on there because people think a different way. Yeah, I love finding these. These are fun to see. So, all right, fondle that thumbs up on the way out. Thanks for watching. Every money. I love you guys. Thanks. Yeah.